everyone, how are you? It's me, Kia, the spiritual advocate, energy tarot reader, intuitive instructor, and spiritual guide. And this video is for the astrological sign of Capricorn for September 2021. Let's see what's going on with your energies. I started doing your reading a second ago. And I'm pulling cards and I'm like, this is so familiar. I just pulled these cards. Ah. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. And I'm like, wait a minute, I already did Sag. So I had to start over because I was dead ass focused on Sagittarius, giving them a second meeting. And it's supposed to be your time right now. So let's, let's get these cards on the table and see what's going on with you. So, first cards out, we have Soul Family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Um, we have Share Your Voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution, persecution Expression. And we have Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Um, I think the other earth signs got something similar to that in regard to um, really just taking a moment to breathe and enjoy life and be present, be in the moment, just be, you know. Um, a lot of you have probably been going at certain things alone, you know, for a while and you've gotten in that space of not having the assistance that you need or have been requiring. But you're in a space now where you're able to um, allow and attract those people who do resonate with you. It's time for you to start um, softening up that, that tough exterior that you've built up over these past couple of months. And really start allowing these, these new relationships to come in. Um, yeah. And you got you to gotta get out of that shell. Some of you have probably been in hermit mode for a little while and I get it it's easier that way sometimes not having to deal with uh, other people being able to really focus and concentrate on yourself and you know devise your plans and get everything in order but listen you're connected to the all so you can't do it all on your own you have to allow these these energies to come in and assist you whether it is in um, that energetic state or the physical state. See, this is the card that had been coming out for other people in the in the um, earth signs. Deep replenishment, rest, retreat, behold. Like, you can't just work, 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 work. What's the point of working if you don't get to live, you know? This is one of the other reasons it's very important to really recognize and tap into that energetic, that spiritually energetic aspect of who you are. Because we get so caught up in the physical work that needs to be done. And we don't have to exert that much energy in that way to get the results that we want all the time, you know. Sometimes we can really just sit back and chill and focus energetically and allow certain things to come come to us, you know. Um, let's look at this bottom row. You have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. Protection, call back your power, cut the cord, soul retrieval, um, and priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead right now? And this has also been a very earth energy um, message that's been coming across for September. It's time for you guys to stop, you know, plain second string and and really step up and not only uh, uh, not only meet the challenge but really face yourself and allow yourself to be in that position that you're supposed to hold I get it I get it it's been people it's been situations in your energy that aren't necessarily the most nurturing or supportive of, or, or motivational but that, sh that tide is shifting. The table is turning. So now you're in a space where it's safe to come out the cave, as it said, and really cut those cords and 
even if you separated physically from certain situations, you've been letting it bother you mentally. So cutting the cords isn't separating yourself in the physical. It's really releasing those energies, mind, body, spirit, and not allowing them to have um, the, the, the negative effects on you that they've had in the past. The overall energy in the bottom of this deck is Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? How can you nurture yourself right now? What are you doing to take care of you? And so apparently um, that's the thought that certain people had. That is what I'm doing. I'm not fucking with people right now. That's how I'm taking care of myself. And yes, I get it because I've been in that space too. But you get to a point where you need to, you know, retreat. Find that isolation, heal yourself, lick your wounds, get your mind, your body, your spirit back in, in, in order. But then you got to step back in the game. You know? You have, to, you have to allow yourself to get back in there. And that's where you are now. But you're allowing some of you, allowing um, the thoughts of what you've experienced to dictate your present moment. Listen, cut those ties. Let that energy be done. Claim it. Declare it. You don't have to go back unless you choose to. But you do have to move forward. Okay? Let's see what we get off this uh, Muse to Row deck. Okay. The pre... Wow. You came into this world on the priestess shit. You gonna leave this world on some priestess shit. It came out twice in your um, reading. It came out twice in your reading. Um, the priestess card fell out on top of soul family. Calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Um, also, another uh, uh, thread that ties these earth readings together is that sentiment of, uh, uh, I already said, taking the lead. But it's because of you being the healer, the, the energetic spirit that you are, the seeker, the sage, whatever it is you are, um, to, to portray in this physical form through your energy, you're calling to step up into that leadership position, and it, by you doing so, you're going to call in your soul tribe. You're going to be the head of your family, a lot of you. But these things, these things, they're kind of just sitting and waiting for you to make a move, for you to choose. You have the three of inspirations. That's the three of wands on top of share your voice. Listen, get this word popping. You have the muse of materials. That's the king of materials on top of play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Some of you might be wondering if, um, or, or nervous to, to indulge in certain things. You might feel as though you might be losing out or you might be setting yourself up for a problem down the line. You're guided, you're protected right now. You need to, to allow yourself to chill, to breathe a little, to not be so serious as the card says, you know? We have the night of emotions on top of deep replenishment. We have the Nine of uh, Inspiration on top of Protection. And the Queen of Emotions on top of Priestess. Listen. Definitely in your physical realm, you don't want to you don't want to go crazy, but you're doing okay right now. So Spend a couple of extra dollars to do something that's really going to um, elevate your vibration, make you feel good, put you, um, just just switch up the energy, so to speak, okay? Some of you, um, you don't see it. It's you getting out of this energy, that, that cave, that hermit vibration that you put yourself in, allowing yourself to be more, um, more vulnerable, so to speak. 
it, you, you, you're not in a space to really take care of and nurture yourself the way you want to because you're not utilizing your resources. You're not stepping out there to allow energy to bring you the things that are going to nurture you in the way you need to be nurtured right now. Some of you, um, with this night of emotions, night of cups energy, um, could have an offer of love in some way coming into you. It could be this energy that's coming in. Some of you, um, I'm hearing, you already know who this person is. For others, it could just be a totally new person coming into your world. But... This person is offering you um, the assistance and support in some ways. This person is offering you an opportunity to really um, lay a solid, emotionally fulfilled foundation to build on. And by accepting this offer, by coming out of that shell, coming out of that cave, allowing yourself to be more vulnerable, that's going to shift you into that uh, queen of emotions energy. I'm being led to this nine of inspirations uh, card on top of protection. Um, for me, inspirations in this deck is equivalent to wands. For me, um, I get it that wands are like action cards and stuff, but they also read as magic cards, what I call magic cards. Wands are um, how we direct that energy. And what I'm getting right now is um, some of you, it's, it's, it's multiple guys over you, angels, spirits, ancestors whoever they are around you. Um, what I'm seeing is almost like they built this structure of protection. Um, not necessarily, but reminiscent to a Merkaba, Merkaba. And it's kind of like they're trying to get you to tune into them. They're protecting you. They're covering you. But you have to be consciously connected. Or they want you to focus on that connection more so. Is what I'm getting. Let me see what other messages they have for us. They're saying it's all about you right now. Regardless of what's happening. Um, even people who are coming in. They're coming in with the understanding or with the energy of really being an assistance, a benefit to you. Ace of Voices, that's um, Ace of Swords, Death, and Page of Voices. Magician card at the bottom of the deck. This is good. This is this is a validation of this switch up in your energy perspective. You allowing this new perspective to take hold. You moving into this new energy is what's causing this transition, allowing you to shed that old skin, allowing you to transform. And move into this, this page of voice energy. This is opportunity. This is growth. This is evolution. This is, um, this is that positive self-talk. And through that positive self-talk, you are, um... Like I was saying earlier, utilizing those energetic resources. You know you've been doing the physical work. But you're really in a space of allowing the energies to work with, for, through 
you at this moment. And I think this is beautiful. Just really relax, rest, relax, take care of yourself. Do something fun this month. Like, the summer's almost over for us. Um, enjoy the last of this summer. And focus on just being the great, phenomenal, magical motherfudger that you are. And I will see you guys soon. Later.